Now I'm <laughs> putting it onto my hand. Ah, see? <gasps> For some reason, this thing is like poop inside. It's gumpy, gunky, I don't know. So when it sprays, it splashes. So this thing just splashed. It just made a mess. One time I didn't do that and it splashed all over my camera. It was just too much. What up, what going on? It's saying it's your girl Mina. In this video, we are again in the bathroom and we are getting ready. I'm gonna be trying out a new product from KVD Beauty. I got it in the mail and I like put it away and didn't think much of it. Then I was like, wait a minute. This must be a new product. Let me take it out and do a review, duh. Also make sure that you are following on Instagram because when I'm not here, I'm there. Make sure you comment. Let me know if you have tried this concealer, if you are planning on trying it out, and also let me know if you like wear tests. Text me if you're in the US, join my text community, it's free. Anyone can join. Now let's get into the video. All right, so it is called the KVD Beauty Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. There are 32 shades and I was sent the shade Tan 177, it's right here. So you'll see on the screen, it's Tan 177. This is for tan deep skin with cool neutral undertones. Yes, but then I like to get a concealer that has gold undertones because I don't match my concealer to my face. I pick my concealer to be light, to be bright, number one. But then also I just like the way that a gold concealer looks. So the way that it's described, which is how normally makeup brands describe their concealers, it's being described as as if it were to be used to match my skin tone. I don't use concealers to match my skin tone. If I were to be doing that, then that would be me spot correcting or covering, covering dark spots. I don't do that. I just go with a foundation that's usually full coverage and then I highlight, you understand? But I was sent 177 and I was actually thinking that I would need to get 181, but now that I see 177, mm -mm, 181 might've been too red. Warm copper, that sounds red to me. I'm gonna use what I have because now in my mind, I feel like I could do 173 or even 160. 69, but this, these are pictures and they're not always true to how it actually looks in real life. It's a full coverage concealer, long wearing, natural finish, hydrating, vegan. We all know that the Good Apple Foundation is like spackle. It is so good. If you have not seen my video on that, make sure you watch it. I love it, okay? So it's a long wearing, crease resistant. We all have, well, I, I mean, I think you do unless you're 10. <laughs> we all have creasing underneath our eyes. It's normal. Normal. Usually concealers will settle into there some more than others. And when they do it more than others, we don't like, I don't like it. I don't know about you, I don't like it. So let's see how much this settles in. I know what my under eyes normally look like. So I'll know if it's too much. It's also a hydrating, lightweight, full coverage, just like the foundation. All right, so it was important to, to cover all of that. I'm laying down my edges right now. I have not been putting on concealer because when I get ready to the bathroom, I usually have just finished my skincare, so it was not enough time for the skincare to dry before. Did I say concealer? I meant primer, primer. So I just don't wanna put too much on and then the foundation is just too much. So let's just go in the foundation. In the bathroom here I have NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the color Deep Cool. Okay, I put on my lip primer and I'm using the Sigma Flat Kabuki. This is the F80 brush. All right, so my foundation's on and we're gonna go with the concealer right now. This is what the tube looks like. It's pretty mysterious in a way when I saw it. I just didn't know what to make of it. I was like, oh, okay, hi. It looks like a dropper, but it's not. So it's full coverage, lightweight. Let's see how much product I'm gonna use. And my, my sponge is damp. If you need to know how to dampen your sponge, watch my video on makeup sponges. There is some need to know on that. Okay, it feels lightweight, like it says. This is actually a good color for me. Wow. <laughs> You know, I'd be off rip. I'd be wanting to go real light, but this is actually a really good kind of color for me. So KBD Beauty, thank you for sending the right color. This looks good. Now I did watch a video that said, well, the person, it wasn't KBD Beauty, that said that you should leave this on for 30 seconds and then blend. I did not see that on Sephora's site. So I'm gonna blend right now. I was just checking to make sure that there's no leftover ex excess water on my sponge. Sponges are linked below and so are all of the other products that I'm using. Oh, this is blending nicely. Oh yeah, this looks good. I should have worn the KVD foundation today. Oh my gosh, let me get closer. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at how good this looks. Whoa. Wow, my under eye looks really good. Let me find out. Hope on. What do you think so far? 
I think it looks really good. The highlight could be lighter. This is what I mean. Now that I've blended it, it's definitely a good color for me, but knowing me, I would like to add a lighter shade on top. So for that reason, I'm going to get a lighter shade from this so that I can just wear this by itself. But this looks really good, wow. All right, so of course we highlight middle of the forehead and all of these middle parts and below the cheek, of course. So let's blend here and apply left over here. I'm gonna blend this out. Take the back of the sponge to really finalize that blending. So apply with the point and then blend it all in with the butt of the sponge. Then I do the forehead with the pointed part, but more, it's like pointed slash side of the sponge. Then I pinch the sponge and go right down the middle of the nose. Okay, and now above the mouth. This color is giving me a subtle highlight. It's not an intense highlight, Ugh. But we are doing this wear test based on this particular product, not with me adding anything else to it, so I'm not going to touch it. Although when I wear it again, I'm going to lighten it because it's not light enough for me, okay? So let's finish up the face and then we'll do the wear test. All right, so eyeshadows from the Morphe 3502 palette. I've done this look several times. It's here on my channel as well. Check that out. For the lip, I'm going to, on the outer part of it with the lip bar, Savage. And then on the inside, I'm using Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the color Icon. Okay, so the look is done. Take a look at it, what do you think? I love this lip. I've worn this lip before, but I did it as an outline and then I had something else on the inside, but I like this lip by itself. Icon, Huda Beauty, love it. Just great. And it's comfortable, it's very pigmented. I didn't take too much. Okay, so I'm gonna head out right now and we're gonna do the wear test. Like I said, we're gonna see, but as you can see right now with eyeshadow, which is what I normally do under my eyes, this is how it looks. What's your assessment now? Okay, and then I'll check in with you. All right, Wagwan, it is now 6.23, so it's been two, three and a half hours. I'm on my vlogging camera. The settings aren't as warm as my main camera, but nonetheless, here we are with an update. Hmm. What do you think? You know what I'm gonna say. We got some creasing. I mean, it's not unusual to have creasing because naturally, our under eye is going to crease. Some of us more than others. Now, there are some concealers that show the creasing more than others. And if it shows the creasing a lot more than another, then to me that, that concealer is not a good concealer based on what I want. Because the concealer, other than my under eye, this concealer is phenomenal. It is smooth, it is 
beautiful like beautiful even though i would love to go lighter it looks gorgeous hydrating gorgeousness but i can't ignore the fact that the under eye is looking creasy but this isn't the only concealer that has done that and i still wear those concealers i'm not canceling this entirely i just love how buttery and hydrated this just this looks and the skin is skin okay it's looking real good let's give it a few more hours and see what happens oh righty what is up it is 10 4 i'm listening to therapy for black girls in my airpod and here we are with an update it's late you know i have blotted my face whatever we still have the same creasing this side looks worse than this side i hate this because i overall do love the concealer it's just is the creasing so much that i won't wear this again no i will wear this again is it my favorite concealer no so that that's just where i'm gonna leave it at that because oh god actually no man i don't know like the closer and closer I look at it, I'm like, no, like this didn't happen to my face yesterday. I'm torn. Comment and let me know if you've tried this or if you plan on trying it. This is not about me getting a lighter shade. My face came out great. So really and truly the shade is great. That extra creasing is just not my cup of tea. I'm gonna still use it though. We'll still talk about it. We're gonna still talk about it as the weeks go on and we'll see if I still am feeling how I'm feeling. But hope that you enjoyed this wear test. That was what? Eight hours, eight hour wear test. Okay, all right. Well, stick around and watch one of two videos that I will link for you after this. Make sure you're subscribed, comment below and let me know what you think about this concealer and the wear test. And follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.